Hey everyone, welcome back to IGR Vision. In this video, I'll tell you how to pre enroll on the university website. This is important if you want to study in any Italian university. Now, when you go and create an account on university, you'll see this page. And when you scroll down, you'll see international students. And in this section, you'll find registration. So when you click on this, it should load you onto this page. And then you can start your pre enrollment application when you click on application to obtain a study visa keep in mind this is only for non-europeans european students don't have to do this now when you go to here you'll see this green button and then you press on this and your pre-registration has started so the first step is that you choose the academic year which will only be the year that you're applying for which is 2024 to 2025 now if you've made your account and all of the details are all right then your name would be automatically put in the step a you put your birth state you have the option to change that here you also have the option to change your city uh, your citizenship this is your passport and if you're non-european chances are you'll only have one passport so you put that if you're european then you're not going to do this registration is your residence this should be your home address uh, your house number your uh, state that you live in the city that you live in and the postal code is basically the house that your posts are sent to now you can leave this whatever it is but this is not really that important now this is really important and this you can't change because this is the email that you initially put to make your account and the tax id that they will give you will be based on the place that you live in as well as your age so this tax id is just temporary don't use this in your final registration after you clear the imap now remember to make sure double check and if everything is right you move to step b i forgot something so let's put this and let's move to step b step b is really important here you give all of your documents that will be used for immigration your passport number is the number that you will find on the top right of your passport the passport expired date is when your passport will expire mine would expire in the year 2026 so that's what i put now the passport photo image is different from the passport image here you have to put a small passport sized photo of yourself and here you have to put the first and the last page in one pdf of your passport into this place so remember passport photo is the image of yourself which is a passport sized and passport photo or passport image is the image of your passport the front and the last page of your passport this is really important when you go to view you'll find where will you apply for the visa now this will automatically be set for you because you chose the state already and when you click on this i can only see the embassy of the hague so this is where i'll apply for my visa here if you're going to study then your indication for reason would be i want to enroll into a study course and then you move to this part which is also the most important now you click on institution and you'll select university if you're going to study medicine or any other course and then you move to the name of institution now here you will choose the university that you will select and study in so uh, for example let's choose luigi one with Italy, and then you have to go to the course type now for medicine it is a single cycle master's degree so you're going to choose this but if you're going for a bachelor's course or a normal course then you can select bachelors if you're going for masters then choose masters but remember medicine is a single cycle master's degree and then you will choose english language because you're going to study in english and then it automatically sets the course for you which is medicine and surgery in english and this will be studied in naples you can ignore this because the course curriculum is still not out for the year 2024 and the course location will of course be naples here you can check your university you can also go to the link that is for the university course and you can see the type of course the language and the class remember most of the single cycle master's degree would be this class and the duration is six years identification account you can ignore this for now you only need this at your final registration this is not important and when you double check all of your information make sure it's right then you go to step c step c is where you will upload all of your documents for your education 
now this is this includes any type of qualifications that can help you get into the university remember this does not mean that you are going to get into the university you still have to clear the admission test so first of all you go to educational qualifications and you choose i would first recommend you to upload your final diploma this is your final high school graduation certificate it should say high school diploma or graduation certificate or your a level results that a level certificate you can upload it here and then you just choose files and you click on one of the documents and you post that and then you write high school diploma if you have an a level qualification then you say a level certificate and so on and then you just post the title and then you can see that your a level certificate is uploaded here next you can upload your second qualification which will be your final high school transcript this will be called the exam certificate or the transcript and here you will call this final high school transcript in this you should upload your results or the final gpa that can be displayed on the document and then you just choose the document and you do the same now these were the two most important that you need but you can also choose any other documents if you have for example if you have already legalized meaning apostilled your documents you can choose that and you can say apostille and you can upload the apostille certificate remember this is also needed at the end of your registration after you clear your ima and then you load the title similarly if you have an english proof of english then you can choose certificate of knowledge of the english language in this place if you've given your ielts exam you can post that as well this is also really handy because if you score equal in the imat then your ielts certificate would come into play the last qualification i would recommend you guys to upload is your recommendation letter this is also considered in the imat and here you can say recommendation letter and finally choose the file and post them on your document qualifications so you can see that i have my final high school transcript my ielts certificate or any other english language certificate you can also choose a document made by your school which proves that you studied your language in english and all of your education was in english you can upload that instead of ielts your recommendation letter your high school diploma or your final high school certificate and your transcript as well as your apostille or legalizations this was pretty much it and then when you have finally uploaded the these documents you can go to summary and you can check if all of your information is right and then you click this i have read the data processing and then you go back and then you press this blue button and then your pre-registration would be sent to the university now i'm not going to press this because this is a dummy information account yeah and that was pretty much it for this video